want a milk tea. Let's go get one after training. Today, you'll face your first test. It's all about the basics. Oh, I know. It's a float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, right? Uh, that's boxing, but <laughs> close enough. Uh, grasping the basics is... And Perry's should be fluid and... See? Even March is getting... Uh, uh, but I'm actually not bored at all. Miss March is still a novice, so I'm giving... Uh, just focus on your teaching. What? Didn't General Hoi An off? <laughs> Looks like your general. Miss March has been learning the. Unsheath your swords. And. According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? I'm ready. But did I really just learn that? I guess I am pretty awesome after all. Are you saying? <laughs> I thought. Oh, really? So now, uh, don't try to cause a rip. Fifteen days of training is after every test. Uh, thank you, Master Yen. So.
find time to try it out. Test. I'll be your examiner this time, and I'll... According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? I'm ready! Yeah. 
Treasure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Plus Dead! Now watch this!
gotta find time to try it out. this. Before we start the test, there's some... The final test. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Come on, March 7th! You got this! Dragon. 
Light Tiger. Less card. Watch this. Awesome. Now watch this. Huh. Come get me. Yeah. Punish evil. Not very sportsmanlike. Huh. Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch this. <laughs> You're all in, Art. Huh. I'm just warm enough. Not very sportsmanlike. <laughs> Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch this. <laughs> Cut through the ranks. Uh, now watch mm. this. Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch this. Mm. Sword, heed me. Yeah. Punish evil. Your dragon, white tiger, less card, watch this! You're all in on it. Out of moves. Awesome! Now watch this! As your dragon, white tiger, less card, watch this! I failed. Not bad. Now, I'd love to hear your suggestions on how to defeat Scott. <laughs> Let's do it! I already have an idea! I remember Yen Qing once said, There are many ways to defeat villains. But if you want to become a true hero, you have to focus on self-improvement. Do you feel any closer to becoming the great hero you've always dreamed of? Ah, oh, yes, absolutely! The great hero within me is definitely up to the task. I'm going up against Scott soon. Do you know why I'm visiting you, Ching Chua? Yeah, with you, me, and him here, the answer is pretty obvious. But I know nothing about swordplay or duels. Now, if you're talking about playing Celestial Jade, that's something I might be able to help with. Uh, wait a minute. I've been playing with you a lot lately, right? I've actually picked up a few insights. For example, I've been thinking lately that just defeating Scott with my swords might not be enough. Yeah? You don't really think I'm dumb, do you? Well, here's the thing. Even if Scott apologizes, do you think he'd actually feel sorry for what he did? Nah, it's more he's just honoring a bet. Whether it's apologizing or squealing like a pig, I doubt he'd do it willingly. Exactly! He just wants to show off! Which is why he picked Arum Alley as the venue! You're right. Even though I'm not a fan, I'll help you figure something out. Why don't you fill her in on what happened at Arum Alley earlier? Being a workaholic were a disease, Scott would be in the ICU. It's okay to enjoy your work, but causing trouble in society is another story. I don't have suggestions, only an opinion. And that is, he's a hopeless workaholic. Come on, March, let's go find him. Uh-huh. Well, well, if it isn't our hero, March 7th. And who do we have here with you? Before you start the fight, I have a few words for you. 
Huh? Who do you think you are? Is it like a Sienjo thing to just show up uninvited? It's okay if you don't know who I am. Introduce me to him. <clears throat> don't freak him out. I work as the head of the Divination Commission most of the time. What's so special about being a diviner from the Divination Commission? I'm a specialist at the Interastral Peace Corporation. Tell me, what makes you think you're so great? Do you have more minions than me? Or do you earn more credits? You may not be young, but your mindset is still that of a fresh-faced newbie who spends all their time on work while proudly proclaiming to love their job. You! Shut up, you! In my opinion, you enjoy playing the role of a joker, spouting off outrageous opinions just to seem objective and indifferent whenever you feel like it. Enough! Shut up! What do you know about me? You act like you know everything! Wow, you really got under Scott's skin with just a few words. Well, you almost got me. I'm here to have a duel, not to debate with you. Better not mess with the Divination Commission anymore. Uh, that's the spirit! Strike while the iron is hot! Consider the IPC to be your family. Of course I do! I, I, I have so many amazing colleagues there. Have you seen our structure? The talent motivation department makes everything feel even better than family. You mentioned the perks provided by the Pie in the Sky Department. What exactly did they hook you up with? Oh, now you're asking the right person. We're talking getting paid to play with pets, remote work across the cosmos, and regular interstellar trips. You wouldn't believe it. Uh, hey, that's not the right thing to say. I heard even the lowest ranking Pierpoint folks feel proud of the IPC's success and wealth. But when you really think about it, how much does the IPC's success and wealth have to do with you? Of course it has something to do with me! Then tell me, which of the IPC's achievements can you personally take credit for? I was involved in the Alrum Alley investment project. And right now, I'm in charge of these transport ships. They may not seem like big things, but uh, they can't be done without me. thing is, our room alley has actually been doing better since you left. As for those transport ships, do you really think no one else can handle it? I... I just got unlucky with that project. If the IPC had listened to me, it would have been a massive success. And the shipping and transportation stop, it, it, it's just impossible without me. Uh, I've heard that the IPC's annual turnover is even higher than the total population of the capital of passion. Even without you, they'd find other Scots to get the job done. Do you find it hard to fall asleep without scrolling through your phone? Do you hit the snooze button every morning? Do you feel useless at work hearing your bosses complaining about your incompetence? It, it, enough! Stop it! When you actually think about your life outside of work, only one word pops into your head, doesn't it? Overtime! Please, just stop it! 
please! You know, based on my work philosophy, I don't want to say you're not important. In fact, I'd say you are important. As an employee, you should take pride in living a good life for yourself, not just work. But I... I don't have a life of my own. Something. Don't make me feel so miserable about myself. But you are miserable because you don't have a life of your own. <laughs> you consider yourself superior to others. You have no time for your own life. You lack empathy. You're always worried about being looked down upon. And your self-esteem stems from the status the IPC gives you. Do you really want to live like this forever? <laughs> That's so mean! <laughs> Just an ordinary person struggling, trying to survive. Don't you feel a twinge of guilt saying nasty stuff like that? Of course I do. Because I'm just an ordinary person, too. Now, Scott, welcome back to the world of ordinary people. Meng Ming, the owner of the Sleepless Earl, went to great efforts to set up her shop. All so that workers like us can catch a break and find some joy in our lives. What makes you so different from her? How would you feel if you worked so hard to create something? Only to have your boss wreck it and overwhelm you with unreasonable demands. Oh, we were intending to defeat you in a duel and make you apologize to her. But now we see that won't work. I see. I'll make a genuine, heartfelt apology to her. Enough. I understand. We don't need to carry on with this sword fight. I'm going to apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl. And to everyone fully living their lives. Thank you, guys. I almost went too far, which would have been a mistake. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to be happy. I'll have some tea, read the paper, and explore the universe. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to apologize to the owner. Thanks. You've given me a lot to think about. As for this lousy job at the IPC, well, it's, uh, it's time for some serious contemplation. Catch you later. Uh, I'm so tired. Haven't felt this exhausted in ages. You guys better treat me to something nice, March. Of course. Thank you, Master Chingchua. Remember to say lots of nice things. 